So Esther, tell me, what made you interested in health? Very personal reasons actually. Um, the first reason was that my dad had um, heart disease when he was in his late 30s, early 40s. For me that was a really important thing to try and understand. And the second reason was I was really overweight as a child. So I had to try and re-educate myself about food, about the positive benefits of eating, my health, rather than just because I like the taste of it all the time. Um, and why is it so important for us to care about what we eat and, and our lifestyle? Well, the research is really clear. Unless we're actually really diligent on a daily basis with what we eat and whether we exercise and you know whether we look after our minds and our emotions, you know we have a higher incidence of the main Western diseases such as heart disease, cancers, bone problems. You know. Um, all of the typical ageing conditions that can actually add years onto our life. Diet and health and nutrition um, and exercise can play a really positive part in helping with that in later life. So we've spoken to quite a few people today. Do you think, are we a healthy nation? Well, I've actually been really encouraged by what I've seen on the streets today. Uh, lots of people are saying they know the message about fruits and vegetables. They also know, or seem to know, that they should have things in moderation and they've been put on, on the spot a little bit. But I suspect behind the scenes they probably sit and watch television late at night and have the occasional uh, snacks and things. Yeah, there was lots of ice cream and yeah. pizza. Well, again, it's all about healthy choices. Uh, ice cream can be good for you if you choose a low-fat version and have it once in a while. We've got to enjoy our food as well, so once in a while is fine, but not every day.